Welcome to your practice. Today we're going to get started on our backs in a reclined butterfly position. So lay yourself down, bring the soles of your feet together and let your knees fall out wide and bring the palms to rest on the belly. And then just noticing the breath here beginning to deepen. slowly bringing your knees back up towards center bringing the feet parallel and allowing your hands to rest softly beside the hips I'm going to work into the low back a bit now. So you notice here as you lie that there's a natural curve in the lower spine We'll take a breath in there, and then as you breathe out, I want you to flatten your spine onto the mat. You'll feel the hip bones in the front of the body gently roll up towards the ribs. Lengthen it back out, that's your neutral. And then exhale, gently hug low ribs and the hips together. And then keep your back flat on the mat and float your legs up into tabletop. Wrap your right leg around your left, eagle legs, and then your right arm underneath your left arm. Hands can grab the outsides of the shoulders or hands can connect. And then let's lengthen the elbows and knees away and then gently bring elbows and knees together. Tuck your chin towards your chest. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, contract. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, contract. Breath in, breath out. Breath in, breath out. Breath in, breath out. Breath in, breath out. Keep going. Exhale, inhale, exhale. And then just release your hands. We're gonna do toe taps now. Keep your back flat. Let your right toes come down towards the earth and then back up to tabletop. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Lower, lift. Lower, lift. You got this. Lower, lift. Back stays flat, abdominals are on. Lower and lift. Notice my feet aren't going all the way down to the ground. Let's unravel the legs, pull the knees into your chest. Give yourself a little squeeze here, rock from side to side. And then coming back to center, keeping the back flat on the mat, gently float your legs back up into a tabletop position. This time we'll cross our left leg over the right. You can one time wrap or two wraps with the foot underneath the calf. And then left arm underneath the right, elbows and knees away. Exhale, bring them together. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knees. Eagle crunches, lengthen, contract. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. You got this. Keep going. Back is flat. Abdominals are on. Feeling that burn. Keep breathing. Inhale, exhale. Release your hands down beside the hips. Back stays flat. Toe taps. That's one. And two. Feet don't have to go all the way down. Three four, five, six, seven, with control, eight, 
nine, and 10. Good, unravel the legs, hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze here, rock from side to side. And then grab the back of your hamstrings, start to roll forward and back here. Tips of the toes and crown of the head touching, just flushing out the spine with a gentle bit of pressure. Start to gain some momentum here and then stand up into a chair position. Breath in, forward fold, breath out. Find that halfway lift, inhale. Fold as you exhale. Again, like that half lift, breath in. Forward fold, breath out. Rise, halfway lift, exhale, fold. And then roll yourself up to stand, stacking your bones, shoulders down the back, to Dasana Mountain Pose. Palms face forward, feet pressing down, belly firm. Reach your hands up overhead, lengthen, breath in. And then catch a hold of your right wrist and side bend to the left. Keep the heart facing forward, soft knees. And you can step your right foot back, crossing the inner thighs, just taking this a little deeper. And then coming back up to center, flip the grip, switch, grabbing a hold of your left wrist, this time side bend to the right. Option to step that left leg back behind you, crossing the inner thighs. And then stepping together at the front of the mat, hands reach up and overhead, breath comes in. And then chair pose, bend your knees, take your hands to your thighs. We're gonna arch the spine here, inhale, and then round, tuck your chin to your chest, exhale. Knees stay bent, heart comes forward, breath in, and then round the spine, breath out. Cow pose, inhale, round the back like a cat, exhale. Again, lift the chest, gaze, breath in. Round your spine, knees are still bent, breath out. Good, inhale, chest lifts. Exhale, round. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Good, forward, fold, let it go. Find that halfway lift as you inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Again, Ardha Uttanasana, heart lengthens. Exhale, Uttanasana, fold. Halfway lift, breath in. Fingers down, step both of your feet to the back of the mat, plank pose. Press your way to downward facing dog and then slide forward plank. Exhale, down dog. Plank pose, breath in. Down dog, breath out. Good. Plank pose as you inhale. Lower knees, chest and chin to the earth. Exhale. Take your hands wide to the floor. Finger stand cobra. Elbows point to the ceiling as the heart lifts and lowers down. Lift the heart up and lower. Lift up. Fingers press. Exhale, release, hands beside the ribs, plank or kneeling plank to downward facing dog. Lift your heels nice and high with a breath in, bend your knees, walk, step or hop your feet forward, breath out. Find a halfway lift, inhale, forward fold, exhale. Chair pose, bend the knees, sweep the hands forward. And then stand up, hands beside the hips. Hands reach up and overhead, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, your breath in. 
fingers down, step your right foot to the back of the mat. Lower the knee, sweep your hands up and overhead, and then catch a hold of your right wrist and side bend to the left. Press your front heel down and back towards the body, feel that hamstring engage, glutes are on. Come back to center, release the hands. And then place the palms together and twist to the left. Right elbow hooks outside your front thigh. Keep your hips as they are square and then tuck your back toes and lift your back knee. Legs are strong, breath is steady. Release your hands, frame your front foot. Three-legged dog, kick your left leg up and back as you inhale. Bend into your left knee, stack and open the hip as you exhale. Point your knee to the ceiling, breath comes in, and then tap your knee to the inside of your right thigh, breath out. Lift that knee up and tap it to the inner thigh. Good, lift and open, close and tap. Straighten your left leg back, inhale. Step that foot down, down dog. Slide forward to plank pose, breath in. Lower half or all the way, breath out. Lift the heart up, dog or cobra pose. And then downward facing dog, hips up and back. Send your right heel to the sky, next inhale. And then pull your knee to your chest, keep your hips high. Straighten your right leg up, breath in. Just the knee into your chest, breath out. Kick it back, long leg, inhale. Knee to your chest, now slide your shoulders forward over your wrists and step your right foot between your hands. Warrior two, cartwheel your arms and rise up. Keep your hands above you and then take your hands and interlace them behind your head. Elbows are wide. You're going to pull that left arm towards the back of the room and then right elbow forward, side bend down. Pull that left elbow back and then right elbow forward. Good. Left elbow back. Right elbow forward, feeling into the sides of the waist, left elbow back, and then right elbow comes down inside your front right thigh, side angle variation. Press your right elbow to your leg, your leg to your elbow, keeping the left hand behind the skull. Can you open your heart towards the ceiling? Turn that left armpit to, this, to the ceiling. Yeah, you got it. Breath in breath out rise back up reach your right hand to the ceiling bend into that elbow take your left palm on top tricep stretch straighten through your front leg lift the kneecaps lift your right lung towards the ceiling Take a breath in and then cartwheel your hands down to the floor. Lift your back heel, runner's lunge, inhale. To L-shape pose, walk your hands forward, left leg lifts, exhale. Lengthen through the spine and then pull your left knee into your chest and rise all the way up to stand, hugging that knee with you. When standing, let the left leg rotate out. Vrikshasana tree pose. Take your hands onto your hips and then press your foot into your right inner thigh, leg into your foot. Take the back of your left hand onto the top of your left thigh and then reach your right arm up and side bend over to the left. Keep the gaze steady, breath is soft. Both hands reach up and overhead, point your left knee forward, pull it a little higher into your chest, step your foot down, hands reach up, inhale, forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, breath in, 
Fingers down, step your left foot back, breath out. Lower left knee to the earth and then sweep your hands overhead, breath in. Catch your left wrist, side bend to the right, breath out. Firm your inner thighs, glutes on, breath strong. Rise back up, palms together, twist to the right. Hook your left elbow outside your front thigh. And then tuck your back toes and lift your back leg to straight. Get long through the spine, through the crown of your head. Spiral your chest towards your thumbs. Good, release your hands down, frame your front foot. Three-legged dog, right leg kicks up and back. Bend your knee, stack and open your hip. Reach that kneecap to the ceiling, breath in, and then tap your right knee inside your left thigh, breath out. Open it up, inhale. Tap to the inner left thigh, exhale. Open it up, breath in. Tap it, breath out, and then straighten your right leg, inhale, three-legged dog. Kick that right leg straight and strong, and then place it down beside the left. Slide forward, plank pose, Chaturanga Dandasana, lower. Lift your heart, shoulders back, downward facing dog, hips to the sky. Next inhale, take that left heel, lift it up. Stay high with the hips, left knee to your chest. Straighten the left leg, inhale. Knee to your chest, exhale. Take the leg straight, breath in. Knee to your chest, now slide your shoulders forward, step your left foot to left thumb. Warrior two, seal your back heel and cartwheel your arms up. Interlace the hands behind the head, elbows wide. Soften the upper shoulders, take a breath in, and then guide your right elbow towards the back of your mat, and then left elbow towards the front. Right elbow to the back, left elbow to the front. Like you're in water here, moving slow to the back and to the front. Last time to the back and to the front, good. This time land that left elbow inside your left thigh and connect them. So press the arm to the inner thigh, inner thigh to the arm. Keep your right hand behind the skull and then gently open that top elbow, open the right lung up towards the ceiling. Inhale, rise back up, reach your left arm to the ceiling, bend the elbow, catch a hold of it with your right palm and then straighten your front leg, reverse warrior variation. Come back, breath in, and then cartwheel your arms down, breath out. Runner's lunge, look forward, inhale to L-shaped pose, walk the hands to the front of the mat, let your right leg lift. Get long through the chest, strong through the core. And then hug your right knee in towards you and rise up to stand, pull that leg with you. Find that drishti point to focus your gaze. And then Vrikshasana tree pose the other side. Right sole of the foot connects to the inner thigh on that left leg above or below the knee. Hands rest on the hips. If you're coming with me, the back of the right hand slides onto the right thigh. Your left arm reaches up, side bend to the right. And then slowly reach your hands overhead, point your right knee forward, breath comes in, send that knee a little higher if you can, 
just step the right foot down. Hands stay lifted and then interlace your hands behind your head. Open your elbows, lift your chest. Utkatasana, hands stay behind the head. Bend into your knees, squeeze your inner thighs. Send the butt back, the weight into your heels. And then softly pick up your right foot and with control, step it towards the back of your mat, landing into a high lunge. Hands stay, heart lifts, elbows wide, breath in, and then close the elbows and fold over your front thigh, breath out. Open the arms, lift the chest, inhale. Round the spine, tuck in, exhale. Open up, breath in. Round, tuck and fold, breath out. Inhale, open up. And then exhale, lean forward, warrior three, hands stay behind the head. Lower that right hip down, flex through the back foot, and then step back to that lunge, reach your hands up and overhead, take your hands down to the ground, plant the palms. Three-legged dog, left heel up, inhale. Three-legged plank, slide forward, lower halfway, exhale. Feet land, heart lifts, breath in to downward facing dog, breath out. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, lower all the way for five, four, three, two, one. Good, roll onto your back from here and grab a hold of a block if you've got one. You're gonna place it between your inner thighs on the second width. So not the um, smallest, but the second width, a little closer towards the knees and then flatten the back on the earth and straighten your legs up towards the ceiling. From here, you'll reach your hands towards your feet. We're gonna do a little bit more core work here. So inhale, my chin's gonna lift. Inhale, my tailbone's gonna lift. Inhale, fingers to toes. Exhale, release. Inhale, chin, tail, fingers and toes. Exhale, chin, tail, fingers and toes. Exhale, chin, tail, toes. Exhale, chin, tail, toes. Exhale, breathe in, 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 exhale, in, in. In, you got this, exhale, in, 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 exhale, <sighs> exhale, good, release, remove the block, pull your knees in towards your chest, give yourself a moment here, a little squeeze. And then stretch your legs back out long, roll onto your tummy again. Set up for a cobra pose, hands beside the ribs. Lift your chest, your heart, breath in. And then soften down, breath out. Again, lift the chest, breath in. Soften, breath out. Chest, breath in. Soften, breath out. Plank or kneeling plank, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Right leg to the sky, breath in. Knee taps, right elbow, breath out. Straighten the right leg, inhale. Tap that left elbow, exhale. Take it back, long leg, breath in. To the chest, step that right foot forward. Warrior two in your feet, cartwheel your arms to rise. And then straighten your right leg, reach your right arm forward, forward and down, triangle pose, trikonasana. Right palm can rest on the shin as you need or fingers to the earth. And then grow long from your armpits to your hips, both sides of the waist here. Option to float your bottom arm forward, creating an L shape from left fingers to right. Soften the face, the jaw, and then bend into your right knee. Keep your arms as they are. Exhale your hands down to the earth. Left palm plants, Vashistas and side plank. Stack your right leg on top. Reach your right arm up and overhead bicep to ear. Float your right leg up off your left. 
pull your right knee into your chest and then step back forward. Find that runner's lunge, breath comes in, L-shaped pose, breath out. Walk your left hand a little wider, lift your right arm off the ground and create a fist. And then reach your right arm so that the forearm connects to your right inner thigh. Press forearm to leg, leg to forearm. Kick that left leg straight, nice long spine. Good, pull your left knee into your chest now, hands to the earth. As you rise up, eagle wrap your legs, left leg over right, left arm under right, wrap once or twice, and then sink your booty down. So bend into that standing leg and grow long through the chest, reach the fingers to the sky. Good, release, reach your hands up overhead, left knee points forward, left leg steps down, hands down, Tadasana, mountain pose. Be here in stillness, settle, close the eyes, rest. Good, next inhale, hands reach up and overhead. And then take your hands, interlace them behind the nape of the neck, elbows wide, heart lifts, chair pose, bend your knees, keep your hands behind the head. Spread your elbows wider, lift your heart, inner thighs firm, breath comes in, and then slowly lift and step that left foot back to land into the lunge as you breathe out. Heart and chest lift, elbows open, inhale, Elbows close, round and fold over your front thigh, exhale. Open and lift, breath comes in. Fold, breath goes out. Again, open, inhale. Fold, exhale. Open, breath in. Fold, breath out. Open, inhale. And then fold. Fly, warrior three, as you exhale. All the way into that right foot. Get long and strong. Land the back left toes again, coming into that lunge. Reach your hands up and overhead, breath in. Plant your palms to the earth, breath out. Three-legged dog as you inhale, right leg kicks back. Three-legged plank, slide forward, lower halfway, exhale. Right foot lands, heart lifts, shoulders back. Downward facing dog, hips to the sky. Breath in. Breath out. Float that left heel to the sky, inhale. Knee taps your left elbow, exhale. Take it back, long leg, breath in. Tap right elbow, breath out. Long leg, inhale. Knee to chest, step your left foot forward. Warrior two, rise up. Straighten through your front leg. And then reach your left hand forward, forward. And when you can't reach anymore, let the left hand come down to shin or to the earth. Right arm reaches up. Micro bend through the knees here. Lift your kneecaps and then spiral your chest towards the ceiling. Option to take that bottom arm forward like you're holding a tray in your left palm. And then bending into that front knee, keep the hands as they are, find a breath in, and then release. Right palm to the ground, breath out. Side plank, stack your left leg on top of your right, take your top arm, bicep to ear. Stretch through the side of the waist and then float your left leg up. Pull that left knee into your chest and step your left foot forward. Low runner's lunge, inhale. Crawl your hands forward, L-shaped pose as you exhale. Take your right fingers a little bit wider and then ball up your left fist. 
Swing that arm to the inside of the left thigh and then press forearm to inner thigh, inner thigh to forearm. Good, release the left hand, pull your right knee into your chest, rise up to stand, cross your right leg over your left once or twice, right arm under left, eagle wrap legs and arms, and then bend into your standing leg. Be still and breathe. Slowly unravel the arms, reach up, point your right knee forward, breath in. Right foot down, hands down, close your eyes, Tadasana, breath out. your hands up and overhead breath comes in forward fold breath out half rise inhale fingers down step both your feet back plank pose as you exhale come down onto your right forearm and then your left hands forearms parallel into an 11 or what we're going to do here is interlace the fingers and then press up to dolphin pose Mm -hmm. So feet can walk a little closer in towards your chest. Point your tailbone to the ceiling. Let the head soften down. Keep pressing the forearms into the earth. And then child's pose, knees down, palms together. Take the thumbs towards the nape of your neck and then walk your elbows to the front of your mat. Nice little tricep stretch here. Okay, so we're going to be working towards headstand today. So if you're not doing headstand, you're just going to do dolphin. So same as we just did, and you'll hold that with us. To come into headstand, what you want to do first is just measure where your head is going to be placed on the ground. So take your palm to your forehead, and wherever your middle finger touches on the top of your head, I like to just tap it a few times just so that I get the sensation of where I'm going to be placing my head. Good. And then you're going to bring your forearms back down to the ground and interlace your fingers. Coming back up into a forearm position with your knees still on the ground. Bring your head on that same point of contact towards the hands and the contact to the ground. So you're on your head and your forearms and then walk your feet close in towards your chest. You can pick up your right knee and bring it in towards your chest and your left knee. And then if you can pick up both knees, hug them in and see if you can hover them off the ground. If that's easy enough, you start to straighten your legs up towards the ceiling. Still breathing wherever you are in headstand or dolphin. And then you can slowly draw one knee back in towards your chest and then the other. Bringing your feet down and then slowly coming to a child's pose. Take your hands towards your feet, let your forehead come down towards the earth, and then roll your forehead from side to side. Massage out that third eye center. Gently bring ourselves back up to sit on your heels. So hero's pose. 
do a little bit of stretching for the neck here. So hands stay down, right ear to right shoulder. I like to take my left hand and grab for my right bicep behind the back. It just helps me get a little bit deeper onto that left side. And then take the gaze down towards your right shoulder, tuck your chin in slightly, stretching into the back of the neck. And then come back to center, release the hands, shrug the shoulders up and down. Let's take left ear to left shoulder. Right hand can wrap behind the back for the left bicep. And then taking the gaze down to that left shoulder, tucking the chin, breathing here. And gently coming back to center. It's again rolling through the shoulders a few times towards the back. And then taking it forward towards the front. And then slowly bringing your hands down, we're going to come into um, just having our knees bent out in front of us, hands behind the back, palms pressing to the earth, stacked underneath your shoulders, and then just windshield wash your knees from right to left. Nice and easy here. Let's come back to center with the knees, press into your feet and then lift your hips, reverse tabletop. Nice opening for the front of the shoulders. Exhale, lower the hips back down. Inhale, press your hips up, chin stays tucked. Exhale, lower the hips down. Good, inhale, this time press up and stay. Again, like you're holding a little mandarin orange between your chin and your chest. Keep that, strengthening the muscles in the front of your neck. And take a big breath in, and then lower the hips down, breath out. Okay, we're gonna come into deer pose now. Bring the right shin forward so that it's parallel with the front of your mat and your left thigh is parallel. So 90 degree angles in both legs and then gently walk your hands forward and melt your heart down. Starting to slow down the rhythm of the breath, but it's still there smooth and steady. slowly start to bring your hands back underneath your shoulders rise up and we're just going to switch sides so bring your left shin parallel with the front of your mat right thigh parallel flex into your feet 90 degree angles with both of your legs square your shoulders and then lower your torso down slowly start to bring your hands back underneath you once again rising back up bringing both of your legs forward now knees together and then just slowly lay yourself down onto your back And 
bring your feet down into the earth and then pick up your hips and shift them to the left and then bring your knees into your chest and let them fall to the right spinal twist three breaths here Next, inhale, pull your knees back to center, feet to the earth, pick up your hips, shift them to the right, knees in and over to the left. Three slow breaths here. Gently, next inhale, pull your knees back up to center. And bring your knees in towards your chest, happy baby pose. Hands grab for the outside edges of your shins, ankles, or feet. Feet are flexed. Go rock from side to side. And then when you're ready, gently release your feet. Shavasana, final resting pose. Stretch your legs out nice and long. Let the back of your hands come down to the floor beside your hips. Tuck your shoulder blades down the back one at a time. It might feel nice to open up your jaw, stretch your mouth, lick your lips, swallow. And then take a slow breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Just allow yourself to be here in stillness and I'll bring you back when it's time.
Gently start to come back to your breath here. Moving into your fingers and your toes, ankles and your wrists. And pull your knees up in towards your chest here. You can rock over to your right or your left side into a fetal posture. Just land yourself there for a breath. Noticing here how you feel. And then gently press your way up into a seat, either seated on your heels or with legs crossed. And then take your hands towards the back of your neck and just massage that space down the neck, the upper triceps, into the shoulders. Just giving yourself a little moment of love here, self-care. And then let the hands come together at heart center and bow your chin in towards your chest. Thank you so much for your time, for your practice. Namaste.